My name is Randy Bigley. Joining me on the podcast right now from the Northmore Local School District, Superintendent Chad Redmond. Good morning, Chad. Uh, good morning, Randy. Thanks for having me on. Always well, appreciate yeah. coming on and, yeah. and talking about school and in particular Northmore and, and all the wonderful things going on in the district. There is a lot of great things going on in the district. I mean, a lot of improvements in that school uh, yeah. that I've seen the last few years. Yeah, yeah we've worked real hard at uh, uh, improving our outdoor facilities. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I I probably talk about that every, every time I'm on, mm-hmm. uh, but it's easy to talk about. It's exciting. There's a lot of buzz and enthusiasm around those facilities and, and um, actually, uh, our final final phase or phase three, mm-hmm. if you will, uh, is actually they're mobilizing actually today. Okay. Um, so we're building a new concession stand, ticket booth, restroom oh, wow. area Great. Uh, that will that will look over, kind of perched over a retaining wall over the baseball softball mm-hmm. field. Um, those facilities currently don't have we don't have any concessions. Oh, really? Uh, okay. So yeah. you know, when you play baseball and softball at Northmore, um, on rare occasions we'll have a food truck out, mm-hmm. which is really really cool. I yeah. really like that and enjoy that. Oh, sure. Um, but um, Unless you're selling a bottle of water or something, literally, or, or can pop or Gatorade out of a cooler mm-hmm. on the side of a fence, yeah. we don't have those facilities. But this will now allow our, our baseball and softball families and track, if you mm-hmm. will, uh, to um, have a concession stand. That's and, great. And yeah, a lot yeah. of times parents will work those type of things, volunteer mm-hmm. and help the boosters. And uh, So that's on the horizon. They're actually Good. mobilizing today and, and starting to move dirt Good. Uh, for wow. foundation okay. and dig. Nice. So, so that's exciting. That, uh, that'll wrap up in late October. Okay. Um, and actually, a local contractor uh, uh, is doing that work for us, JNF Construction. Mm-hmm, sure, Adam yeah. Cyrus here, but excited about that. Uh, that's been a long time coming. We've mm-hmm. been talking about this four or five, six years, and yeah. doing this in small chunks and phases, and, <laughs> yeah. and we're getting there. So, sure. but it's it's starting to you're starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel. And, so that, that, and that goes along with all the great field improvements and everything you guys have done over there. Yeah, the, mm-hmm. the whole project started with turf, football mm-hmm. turf mm-hmm. Uh, was the the, 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 the original piece, uh, phase one, if you will. Then we did bleacher renovations, part mm-hmm. of that, new track. Mm-hmm. Uh, new baseball, softball fields, uh, new kind of disc and shot areas as well, and, and kind of that culminating kind of button and mm-hmm. that whole thing up is the concession stand ticket booth area. Right, yeah. And then what that will do is it will actually allow – we have numerous entry mm-hmm. and exit points into the, in the, into the football field mm-hmm. and track area. We'll be able to centralize now and, and have if, if we choose to and have everybody funnel in and out of this of one oh, area. That's great, um, yeah. But yeah. it's, it's really, really excited about that. Yeah. It's going to just beautify campus even more mm-hmm. and, and uh, just add to all the things we've done. You guys so. have done a lot. I mean, ever you know since the new. How long has the new school been there, by the way? How many years you guys been? Yeah, I've been in the district thirteen years now, and we've been in the new pre-K twelve building. This are finishing our twelfth school year. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. So you were in the old school when you started, right? Yeah. When yeah. I arrived in the district as yeah. high school principal thirteen years ago, we still had Johnsville Iberia. Yep. I'm sorry, Johnsville Elementary. Yeah, and Iberia, Iberia Elementary, yeah. Yeah. and then we were seven twelve um, uh, on the current campus, mm-hmm. and now we're pre-K twelve one building. On the entire campus. That's great. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's, if you haven't, if you've never been to Northmore, um, I know folks sometimes think it's really far from Bucyrus. It, it's not. No, no. It's 20, 25 minutes mm-hmm. depending on where you live in Bucyrus, and and we have a beautiful campus. We're you do. I'm really agree. proud mm-hmm. of the work we've done there and uh, opportunities we can provide for our kids and our staff and and uh, our board of education is very supportive of. They understand the idea of mm-hmm. facilities matter. Mm-hmm. And people care about those sure, facilities. and truly do. We want to be the district of choice in, in the area. We want people that they are looking for a place to land or to move or to relocate mm-hmm. um, to look at us. And yeah. we believe those facilities matter. There's a lot of construction going on in that area, too. I mean, you guys are getting some new families in there, too. I'm yeah, there's a lot of growth in Morrill County. You know, the southern part of the county down in the, in the Highland School District, mm-hmm. you know, that's closest to yeah. um, Polaris, literally 20, 25 minutes from Polaris. A lot of growth down there, that urban sprawl. Mm-hmm. If you will, is making its way up past Big Walnut, mm-hmm. you know, up into Mount Gilead, uh, Cardington, Northmore. We're the nor- most northern school district yeah. in Morrow yeah. County, hence yeah. Northmore, if you think about it. <laughs> yeah. North yeah. and Morrow makes right. Northmore. There you go. Um, yeah. So we're yeah. the most northern yeah. school in Morrow County. But, you know, Candlewood's growing. Mm-hmm. Um, homes in, in our district are, are going uh, rapid. I mean, mm-hmm. a home hits the market. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's gone pretty quick. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you're great, gonna, great place to be. Exciting times. Well, and you're also going to see with building the new Intel factory, which is not that far away. Absolutely. So I think you're going to see more families that don't want to live in the city area that mm-hmm. would, that would that may commute back and forth to work that will live more in the area where Northmore is and all that, too. Right? I 100% yeah. agree. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know, we have a number of families that uh, live in Candlewood that mm-hmm. commute to, to commute to Columbus, sure. you know, mm-hmm. and, and depending on traffic flow and things, it's 40, 45 minutes to Polaris. Mm-hmm. And um, so some would say that we're a bedroom community to Columbus, just yeah. depending on your tolerance of 
how far you're willing to drive. <laughs> sure, right. Sure, exactly. <laughs> but exactly. we do offer comfortability in, in, in rural America. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know. Exactly. So, <laughs> so you guys, uh, you told me before we, we went on here that uh, the fourth uh, for, the fourth quarter is yeah. starting here, right? Yeah, yeah, we're ex- really excited. Hard to believe. We we, re- we run that agronomy calendar, uh-huh. so we don't start until after Labor Day. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll do some in-service days with staff prior to always avoiding the Morrow County Fair. The Morrow County Fair is a big deal. Uh, it is to, a big to, deal. To, to the four <laughs> schools in Morrow County. It is. So we'll do some PD days at, on the front side of the fair, and then we we, uh, we cut loose for the fair. We do not bring kids in for that unless you're a fall athlete, and yeah. then you've got those things going on. Um, then we typically start after Labor Day, and board has approved the school calendar for next year already, mm-hmm. and Good. we have an after Labor Day start. Okay, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we just started yesterday, uh, Monday. Uh, the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. So we've only got 25% of the school year left. And, and, yeah, and it's just, hard, hard to believe, just amazes yeah. me that the school year is almost in the rearview mirror. Oh, I mean, yeah. 75% mm-hmm. is in the books right now. Oh, wow. um, so it's an exciting time. You know, this, and I know uh, we always talk about this as superintendents and, and administrators and teachers and staff, but the spring is always super exciting because mm-hmm. it's a time to celebrate and honor kids. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and we've got uh, tons of banquets, awards, ceremonies on the horizon. Um, spring testing. The state mm-hmm. requires a lot of testing of mm-hmm. students. Um, in, in fact, today um, is ACT testing for all juniors at Northmore. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the state requires yeah. um, all public schools in Ohio at the high school level to choose either the ACT mm-hmm. or SAT to offer to their students free of charge from mm-hmm. a, the Ohio Department of Education. And for the most part, most districts in this area choose the ACT. Yeah, We've always yeah. chosen the ACT. ACT seems to be more prevalent in, mm-hmm. in, in this region, this area. Then you go more to the coast, mm-hmm. east, west coast. They're looking for more ACTs, SAT scores. Okay, um, gotcha. Yeah. So all of our juniors today at Northmore will be taking the ACT. Uh, certainly wish them the best. Yeah. Hope they do well. Um, that's going on. And again, uh, tomorrow night is actually a big award, a big, a big, a big to do. A Pioneer, mm-hmm. which all our Crawford yeah. County schools are part of Pioneer. Mm-hmm. Uh, tomorrow night is the All Boards uh, Appreciation Dinner. Mm-hmm. So we'll, my board, a majority of my board, treasurer, and, and you know, majority of the folks in Crawford County, they'll be over at Pioneer tomorrow night having a nice meal. And then uh, a student or two is selected from mm-hmm. each respective partner school that goes to Pioneer. Uh, and they'll uh, to their family is invited, and they get to talk about what program they're in and what they're doing and things right now, yeah. right, doing with that. So... It's super exciting. It's this, these next uh, eight nine weeks are a lot of a lot of it celebrating kids, and it usually just flies by too. It that does last, that last part of the school year because you got prom coming up, graduation, yep. all that stuff coming up. A lot of spring breaks on the horizon still. Yeah. Summer and spring break right now. Yeah, you know, summer down the road. You got the Easter, you know, Easter piece mm-hmm. coming up. So right. it, it goes fast. Now you guys don't take a full week for spring break, correct? Or do you? We no. do not. Okay. Um, that late that late calendar start yeah. doesn't allow us to do those things. It, mm-hmm. it, we could, but. Uh, we don't want to be in school till mid June, right? Exactly. <laughs> Kids or staff, sure. You know? Yeah. Um, so we we typically our spring break is Thursday, uh, Good Friday, and mm-hmm. then Monday following. Okay, sure. Um, yeah. So that, that's typically how we run our school calendar. Sure. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Then your last day. Oh, well, okay. First, when's graduation? Uh, graduation is June fourth. Okay. At Two p.m. We always do it on a Sunday. Um, shame on me. I, I think our last student day is that Friday before. Okay. So what are we talking? The first or second? Something I'm like that. In my yeah. head, thinking yeah. my calendar. Um, but uh, it'll be here before we know it, and, and mm-hmm. we'll be uh, saying goodbye to a, a senior class and mm-hmm. welp- welcoming in a, a new new group of preschoolers and kindergartners. Yeah. You know, yeah. Some choose to go to preschool, some don't. Uh, some go to our preschool, some don't. Um, but uh, it's always an exciting time. You're saying goodbye to one group and, <laughs> bring, and bring wel- it, welcoming yeah, another. Bring a new one in, right. <laughs> so. You guys kind of had a good, great year. You had to have a lot of snow days this year. You know, it's been very well. Very, yeah, we've yeah. closed three days. In, yeah. And one was probably, in, I think, the last two or three weeks. Yeah, right. We had closed. Mm-hmm. Um, that snow, I think that snow mm-hmm. kind of surprised all of us. But, um, no, those calamity days have been few and far between this year. And, yeah. and, and I can't think of the last time in my 24 year career anywhere I've been that we closed three days or less yeah it right maybe yeah. 20 plus years ago but mm-hmm. uh, do I dare say mother nature's kind of been a little bit kinder to us <laughs> watch out yeah yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and a lot yeah. of people like those that time off they're, right they're human kids staff oh, sure yeah uh, it's not always convenient for parents right because uh, you're closing last minute and child care issues and things oh, like sure, that yeah, yeah. but uh we do our best to stay in school as much as we can, but yeah. our number one priority is going to be safety. Sure, you know, school safety, and we don't want kids and buses rolling and parents out on the roads when, you know, it's bad weather. Yeah, of course, you guys didn't live in a real rural area, which is some a lot of those all those county roads and stuff. They get kind of nasty. They yeah, drift over pretty bad and stuff. Over they there. sure yeah. do. We're, we're 101 square miles. Yeah, so we've got a lot of we've got we've got a lot, lot of ground to cover. Oh, sure, yeah. and, and our average daily ridership on our buses, 
we've got about 700 kids that ride mm-hmm. our buses to and from every day out of about 1,100 students. Yeah, so well, a large yeah. portion of our students, um, they ride the buses. And you don't walk to Northmore. No. Unless you no, live, right. happen to live like on 19 in <laughs> right. one of the five houses right across right. the street or something. Right. Uh, you don't walk to the school. Um, so uh, transportation is important to us. And when we close, we, we, we err on the side of safety. Yeah. You know, so. Awesome. Do you guys have social media stuff where people can see, uh, keep track? Yeah, we do. We have a very uh, vibrant, active Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Big vehicle for us. A lot of people look at that. Mm -hmm. Uh, We post all kinds of activity. Uh, We use a um, uh, Aptigy for our website. They're Mm -hmm. they're actually out of Arkansas, Little Rock. Okay. Um, But we use a program or some software called Thrillshare. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, constantly, continuously pushing out information of of what's happening in the district. In, In fact, if you sign up for our email and text features, you're getting stuff from us all the time. Yeah. Updates. School closings, if there is. Uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. We, we, our school closings are on radio stations, mm-hmm. our website, uh, Facebook, things like that. But I feel like we would do a really, really good job of communicating to our to our folks. Sure. Times mm-hmm. have changed when you sit there and watch, you listen to the radio or watch TV, wait yeah. for your school to go by. You get a text now saying, hey, yeah. there's no school. You can still <laughs> pop on the news. Obviously, right. we, we report to the Columbus affiliates. Yeah. You can turn on your local radio stations here. Sure. You yeah. guys, you guys. Yep, we you, do it. Yep. We, we call in here. Other other radio stations as well. Some of your sister radio stations mm-hmm. push our information out, but truly, it's it's at the click of your finger. We right. we have an app. You can go right to your phone <laughs> right. on your app from from your yeah, home. It's you know, nice. You, you have to turn the TV on or the radio. Click on the app. Boom! It's right there. there you and, go. and we we throw it out through text too. There you go. Yeah, so so right. I feel like we do a really good job of communicating. Awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Chad, thank you so much for coming in. So You're welcome. I don't know if I'll see you before the school's up. But I think you've got me coming back in April or May. Okay, gotcha. So, so we'll see you before so, school's out. So. Yeah, I think so. All yeah, right. I appreciate it as always and yeah. uh, love coming on talking about Northmore. Well, I'm glad, glad to have you here. Thank you so much, Chad. Thank you.